coming under fire this week for his comments saying President Obama doesn't love America. But what about when in 2008, then Senator Obama called President Bush's policies unpatriotic? Hmm, it's a paradox. And our own Ed Henry pressed the White House spokesman, Josh Ernest, on it yesterday. Watch. Does the president have any regrets, regardless of what Giuliani said? As a candidate, Senator Obama said that President Bush was unpatriotic. I think, again, I haven't seen the actual comments. I don't know if you have them there in front of you. He said uh, that the president, I'm paraphrasing this part, I had added about $4 trillion to the debt, and then he said, quote, that's irresponsible, that's unpatriotic. Yeah. So I see a difference from Giuliani because he's talking about an issue. But nonetheless, questioning the patriotism of the President of the United States. Yeah. I, I think that what the President was doing was he was questioning the specific wisdom of that decision uh, and questioning whether or not that was in the best interest of the country. So is that a double standard? Joining us now, conservative author and columnist Ann Coulter. Ann, nice to see you this morning. Good to be here, especially on this utterly non-controversial statement by, <laughs> by Rudy Giuliani. I'm so happy we're talking about it. So you don't think it's controversial at all? No, and I think that's the wrong parallelism. I mean, no, I mean, Democrats generally do not call Republicans unpatriotic for the obvious reason that we aren't, but, you know, everyone keeps saying, oh, how can you see into his heart? You can't say this. Gosh, they sh sure call us racists a lot. Can they see into our hearts? And that's based on what? Because Republicans want to cut taxes, whereas the fact that Democrats generally do not love their country, I would base on things like Obama expressly rejecting American exceptionalism, his attorney general, Eric Holder, saying we're a nation of cowards and, and co constantly finding racists under every bed, investigating this police department and that de police department for racism. I mean, you can, it, to defend yourself by saying, well, you can't see into someone's heart, right. um, no, I think if you go around constantly bashing Joe, Joe was a racist, Joe, Joe was greedy, Joe wants to keep his own money, Joe won't help me, I think I can conclude you don't like Joe. So, but is it, as a political matter, <laughs> wise to articulate something like that in the terms he did, won't it be the most fruitful Democratic fundraising clip ever? Mm. I don't think they really enjoyed my book, Treason. So, no, I don't, think they like, <laughs> I don't think they like having it pointed out that they don't seem to really like America. And they don't. So why, why shouldn't we point it out? When they, I, I, Mitt Romney was actually accused of racism for using, pointing out that Obama was from Chicago. Because there are a lot of black people in Chicago. I was on MSNBC. But, but to Tucker's I point, I mean, does, does this add fuel to the fire and, and become... I don't think so. I think um, truth is its own reward. So it's what true to say it. Yeah. Why okay. shouldn't they? And it reminds people, and you can talk about that. I mean, and the sending the Winston Churchill bust back, what was that about? And how about his policies? You know, Holder said this week um, that Fox gets hung up on this or that word, and I kind of agree with him. And by the way, I hate homicide bomber. I wish you guys would go back to suicide bomber. Homicide bomber doesn't describe the horror of what's going on. Anybody can be a homicide bomber. And you know, this particular phrase, that phrase, I don't think you really need to say Islamic terrorism because I... You say terrorism. Are you thinking it's Methodist? No, you are not. Terrorism means Islamic terrorism. <laughs> I have some concerns about the Methodists, but I won't even get into that. But Holder on. says, no, don't judge us for our words, judge us for our policy. Okay, fine. Bush had just won a war in Iraq. Who gave it away? President Obama, which is why I am now a pacifist who is in favor of the liberal use of nukes. And what do you make of this new report out <laughs> about the DHS um, intelligence assessment saying that the real threat to America is a domestic threat of right-wing extremists? Okay, there we go. But they love America. <laughs> Come on! That's, my, 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 that's the evidence of the first part. They instantly go to blame an American. That's what they did um, with Benghazi. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't the Muslims. It was this poor, hick American in California. Well, that's, isn't that Blame it? Blame America. They imagine the center of the country is filled with dangerous hillbillies. Oh, yeah. This is a long-standing trend with Democrats. Remember Janet Reno's big thing was going after peaceful abortion clinic protesters? That's their big thing. They really think there is this mob of, of hooligans. Their, their vision of America is the law and order vision of America, where um, New York City is apparently crawling with clanners. Are you concerned that this, that this makes us more vulnerable to ISIS, that if we're spending our time about this, uh, you know... I don't think we are vulnerable I don't see right-wing extremists... I protect any American from ISIS right now. Don't go to Syria. <laughs> Problem solved. You don't think that... Yeah. ISIS is not 9-11. Stop coming, talking about ISIS. The fear Four of Americans have been killed. They were all in Syria, 
And this last one was apparently a big Hamas supporter. So, you know, don't be a terrorist well, supporter. Do not fly well, to Well, but Syria. wait a second. Isn't, I mean, so you have massive portions of Iraq and Syria under the control of a millennial Islamic yeah. cult. How can that be good for the United States? Well, it was solved under George Bush. We had a fantastic war in Iraq. I think it was the last person still defending it. We had democracy. We had, you know, the Kurds. Well, the Kurds will probably still be okay. So that's the one good thing we got out. But we had Fallujah. We had... They're voting. They're showing their purple fingers. Afghanistan, the, the, the Taliban had been wiped out. Everything was done. And Obama comes in, gives away our victory in Iraq, and for no reason whatsoever sends more troops to Afghanistan. So I now think the whole thing, and also who died there, the best Americans, the people like American Sniper. I mean, for people like, you know, Frank Rich going, maybe I wouldn't be su such a pacifist now. But what's the point? Even if you have a fantastic military victory, a Democrat president will come in and give it away. So next time I say liberal use of nukes, daisy cutters, drones. Um, but there's no point, even a great victory like Iraq. And Coulter. Amazing. I still can get past the Methodist terrorism. It's great to see you this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Good to be There's here. so many things to unpack. <laughs> I've been thinking about it all afternoon this morning. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's great, great to, to see you. See you.